Yahweh Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all honor and glory to Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Rahab Gordash. The ones to the elders and the apostles of the great millstone. Salutations to all the occupants, work true sincerity and with charity. Yahweh is the true name of the Heavenly Father, whom the world angrily calls God and Jehovah. Bahasham is in the name. Yahweh Shai is the Son's name, whom the world angrily calls Jesus and Rahab Gordash is the Holy Spirit. As always, the so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans are the Israelites according to the Holy Scriptures, as well as the speckled bird out there, the scattered Israelite foreigners scattered amongst other nations, whose outer appearance may seem to be of those nations to whom they've been scattered to, but whose lineage, through their father's line, go back to Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, your Israelites, no matter what your outer appearance may seem to be. And as always, I'm the brother of Dyer from the Great Millstone Branch out here in Chicago. I'm back with another lesson. It's going to be entitled, uh, Some of the Sorts of, uh, Behold the, uh, Behold it's not yet. I, I think about it later, but nevertheless, this is going to be just a quick in transit, you know, and it was on my spirit to talk about this uh, Second Edges precept, you know. Uh, I believe it's in Second Edges 15, maybe, but it's 15 or 16, but it says, uh, Behold, for the days of trouble are at hand, but the Most High will save you, will deliver you out of those, man. And through the spirit, you know, I, at the last two days, I just been feeling like, you know, since we're around the Passover time, they some very uh very spiritual and very prophetic is getting ready to take place man those days of trouble are at hand man you know in the book the book of Deuter, uh it's like uh jeremiah the 30th chapter the scriptures speak about jacob's trouble a time like never before in revelations the 12th chapter it says that the devil is going to come down upon you with great wrath not talking about the spiritual demon satan but the one that he's working through uh he saw eating the self-proclaimed white man He's getting ready to come down and force that uh, that jab on you, man. And soon that MOB, you know, uh, you know. So hey, we're in troubled times, you know. Just uh, as I was just saying, man, the last two days has just been a, a eerie feeling, like uh, just as just as last year, man. Right around the Passover, literally, uh, right after the Passover, you know, we had this little fuck. <laughs> yeah, I, don't, I don't care. We had this little, uh, you know, right after the uh, Passover. The following week, man, it went into lockdown. They locked the whole world down, man. And hey, a year later, we getting ready to come into another, you know, a significant event through the spirit, you know. So, hey, those days of trouble, they're definitely at hand, man. But, hey, as it says in Ju uh, Jeremiah 30, fucking idiot, bro. It says, uh, hey, it says a times of Jacob trouble, but he will be saved out of that. The elect is going to be delivered out of these troubled times, man. You know, at my job personally, they had sent me a, uh, what they had, had a reading sign or whatever, and they said, uh, basically, uh, as the Coke, <laughs> as the Sea Royal, you know, Maxine is being made available. Uh, you know, if you're interested in taking it, you know, you can go ahead and sign, sign your name on this little slip or whatever. And, you know, they said, uh, if, you, if you got insurance, it'll be free. And if you don't, it'll be free too. They'll do it, do it through the work insurance or whatever. And hey, 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 that's just a sign of the times, man. That's why it says in, uh, I believe, 2 Thessalonians or Thessalonians, it says, brethren, uh, you don't have to warn you that the day of the Lord so come best thief in the night. Because, hey, we're in the know. We know. We see what's going to happen. Hey, 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 hey I'm going to quote it again, Revelation 12 and 12. Behold, the devil shall come upon you. Rejoice, ye heavens, like you. Rejoice, ye heavens and ye earth, for that, uh, for the devil shall come upon you. Great wrath, because he knows that he got a short time. And hey, he saw he's moving very rapidly, man. He's gonna force this uh, vaccine on people. And then what happened if you don't want to take the vaccine? You know, they're gonna outcast you. You know, they're gonna they're gonna make it hard for you to live, man. What's gonna what's really is uh preparing these people to get ready to take that mob, man. You know, I was just at Walgreens and uh was going in the grab like two items or so, like three hours ago, or whatever. But as I'm going in there, I see a family going to the back where you know they had a little camera station or whatever and uh you know it was like a young girl a young boy and like an older man or whatever and i'm like hmm i wonder what that's about so i went in the front as i'm talking to the as i'm cashing out talking to the cashier she i, I asked her, the spirit told me asked her like they got the maxine i'm like hey y'all y'all doing the maxine here she was like yep and i'm like hmm i'm like you getting it she like nope i don't know what the hell is in it it was esau you know, she was like, nope, and she was old to Mike, she to Mike. She was like, uh, no, I don't know what's in it. I, I'm, I'm not taking it. I'm like, what if they make it mandatory here? She was like, I already told them they make it mandatory. Hey, I'm putting in my two weeks. So wait, man, hey, hey, another thing, man, it's going to be a great division, man. It's going to be insurrections, man. Because, hey, these people, you know, you got people out there. Hey, Jake, mostly, they has taken the vaccine. 
it, hey, I've heard various reports. My uncle, he told me he got both of them, you know? But nevertheless, I heard from other brothers, their family that took it. But nevertheless, hey, Esau, hey, that's why hey, that's why the scriptures say that uh, the children of this world are smarter than, are wiser than the children of light. Because Jake is running to that Maxine. You know, they throwing all types of tricks and gadgets at him to take it or whatever, to entice him. And Jake falling for the okie doke. But nevertheless, Esau, hey, Esau, they not standing for that, man. You got some, you know, you got some that, you know, that's, that's going to run and take it because they're fearful. But then you got the other ones that's not going to take it. That's getting ready to lose it all and go up against them if they try and force it, man. So, hey, we living in some interesting times, man. Those, those days of trouble that the scriptures speak about, they are at hand. And, and that really shows that the day of the Lord is approaching, man. Hey, the book of Romans, it says, for now it is high time to awake out of rest. For now is our salvation nearer than what we ever believed. Hey, hey, the Lord is on his way. You know, the Lord is on his way. He's coming back, man. And he's making it known. Look at everything that's taking place right now. Look at everything that's happening in the world. You know, the latest thing, I was watching the elder, uh, one of the elders' videos, you know, he just had, he did a live stream uh, on basically uh, how how they're pushing to ban assault weapons, man, which is, which is really them saying that we want to take all your weapons. Why do they want to take all your weapons, man? So they can disarm you. So it'd be easier to, to push their uh, agendas on you, man. You know, this is what this man is up to. And they two thirds are getting ready to fall for the okie doke, man. Something just like that. You know? But hey, the men of the Lord, hey, no matter what, hey, the men of the Lord, we're going to be protected. We're going to be blessed, you know? Because these are days of trouble, but hey, the men of the Lord, we've been saved, we've been storing up, we've been laying up that faith, we've been uh, adding to our spiritual uh, piggy banks. And the Lord has seen this. And hey, hey, the Lord, hey, hey, he, he, he's dealing with us, man. He's dealing with us, man. You know, it says in the book of John that uh, basically you can't pluck the elect out of the Lord's hand. The elect is going to be the elect. The elect is going to get delivered, man. You know, all these people, hey, 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 all these people falling for the okie doke. It says in the book of uh, Luke, it tells you that, uh, I'm going to go this way, fuck it. Hey, yeah, I'll just go this way. Hey, it tells you in the book of Luke that, uh, Hey, as a uh, don't let don't let your hearts be overcharged with surfeiting. Basically, don't let the cares of this world choke you out and block and block your spiritual eyes from seeing the times that we in. Because the Lord is gonna come back. It says in that loop that hey, He's gonna come back like a uh, His coming back is gonna be like a, a trap. You know, it, it's gonna be a snare to the world. Why? Because they're the majority of the people they they're not aware of what of what times they're living in. They're not aware that. This whole vaccine and this, all the events that's been happening within the last two years, that's been a, uh, the elites pushing their N NWO, man. This is what that's been. You know, people are just saying, oh, it's just been a bad year. No, everything that happens, happens for a reason. This is the elites pushing their new world order. And they getting ready to uh, start issuing their uh their uh implants so to say you know starting with that maxine and then eventually into that uh mob you know revelation the 13th chapter talks about an incision being put into your hand which uh which are going to which are basically have information on it. you know i don't want to get too descriptive man but if you want to know you want to know we talking about that chip you know and there's a judgment for taking that so hey hey if you got the ears to hit don't take that man but hey, man, we living into some, into some exciting times, man. The Passover is uh, coming up this Friday. And hey, hey, through the Spirit, it, it was just on me to speak on these things, man. Because because honestly, and I've heard of another, uh, a couple other brothers speak on it. Hey, they think we all feel like something is getting ready to happen. You know, the Lord is definitely dealing, though. You know, the Lord is definitely dealing. He's definitely turning that, uh, turning that spirit up out here. You know, people are getting restless. People are still riding. You know, you got all types of events taking place in the earth, man. Hey, the Lord, the Lord is getting ready to uh, come back, man. As it says in 2 Corinthians 15, it says, uh, For behold, I will send plagues upon the earth, the sword, famine, death. You know, why? Because wickedness has exceedingly polluted the whole earth, man. And then this wickedness has just been increasing and increasing the last three weeks, man. You know, starting with the alphabet agenda, you know. It was Esau in my job complaining about that. And hey, hey, he even said, he even went on his way to say, uh, was eating him out of my job. He was just complaining, man. But he was, hey, he was spending some facts, man. He said the, ch the churches are closed, but the strip clubs are open. 
And hey, that's damn true, man. If anybody, if you, hey, if you, hey, if you had any common sense, you would see what's going on, man. He went on to say, to say, hey, hey, basically, he was saying that, hey, this is Satan's kingdom for the come. His little words was hell Satan, because hey, this, this is this is really happening. This is really happening, you know. But hey, let me get this exit real quick. Hey, this is really happening, man. The Lord is dealing. The Lord is dealing. The Lord is definitely dealing, man. We finna be delivered, y'all. Right, desire. You know, we have that light. Hey, hey, the Lord's getting ready to make his appearance. He's, he's getting ready to come back to his place, man. You know? But, hey, that's, that's all I had through the spirit, you know? Just want me to speak on that uh that second address, you know? It says, behold, the days come. The days of trouble are are, are here, you know? It was just on my spirit to bring out a, you know, a quote, a paraphrase, a few quote, a few uh, scriptures, you know? Lord will was edifying. So, hey, I'm going to go ahead and give all honor and glory to Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Rechak Rodash, that wants to the elders and the apostles of the grave of the stone. So he takes to all the occupants, where we're true, said, with charity, shalom, brachitham, and a bob ball.